Hey guys, Joe here. So finally, I got my hands on the new LG C1 OLED. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of LG OLED TVs. I have videos with the C9, with the C10, and now I am working with the C1. So even though physically it looks very similar to previous OLEDs, they now come equipped with the brand new Alpha 9 Generation 4 processor, which improves picture quality, motion, sound, and LG also added more gaming features, and they did some improvements on their web OS. So let's dive into it. Let's do this. All right, so I purchased the 48 inch version, but it is also available in 55, 65, 77, and even 83 inches. They all have the same features and quality, so you can expect the same performance with any size. Now the ports are located on the right hand side and it includes four HDMI 2.1 ports. Now that means that you can connect both of your next gen consoles, an audio receiver, and even a PC in all at the same time. Now as far as I know, OLEDs are the only TVs that offers HDMI 2.1 on all four ports, so that's a big plus for me. All right, so if you're not familiar with OLEDs, they are self-lit diodes that can be turned on or off individually. Now that means that the TV doesn't need any backlight or any local dimming, so there are no blooming issues to worry about. Now as a result, you get this super thin screen with the highest contrast on any TV and a beautiful colorful picture. Now the C1 also supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, HDR10, HLG, so you get to enjoy the best HDR formats and the audio available. Now I'm a big gamer and honestly this is the best gaming TV available right now. Not only the picture looks fantastic, but there are a ton of new features available for gaming including 4K 120Hz, even 1440p 120Hz, so if you have the Xbox or a PC connected, you can use those formats. There are a few games that support 4K 120Hz, and one of my favorite ones is Call of Duty Cold War. Now the game runs fantastic with that performance mode, the gameplay is very smooth, and OLEDs also have the fastest response time. Now response time refers to how fast pixels change from one color to another. Now the faster the better, while the slower response time can result in ghosting or blurry image. Now OLEDs have a 1 millisecond response time, so it is fast and the picture looks great. There is also HDMI VRR, FreeSync Premium and G-Sync available. Now variable refresh rate eliminates screen tearing and stuttering for a smoother gameplay experience. So this works great with the Xbox consoles and also if you decide to connect your PC. There's also auto low game latency mode, so you automatically jump to game mode when a game is detected, and even Dolby Vision game mode, so if you have the new Xbox console, you will be able to enjoy Dolby Vision gaming with low input lag. Now, I mean, I think LG is the only brand that has Dolby Vision game mode, that means that you will be able to enjoy games with a dynamic HDR format, so you can experience a brighter and more colorful picture. But not only that, Dolby Vision automatically maps to your display as you play, defining peak brightness on a frame by frame or scene basis. So you can say goodbye to all those adjustment sliders or HGIG since there is no standardization for HDR. Now, Dolby Vision acts as a middleman, helping you ensure that you're getting the best image and accurate colors and brightness. Now on top of that, there is also 4K 120Hz with Dolby Vision support mode available. You can activate it from your Xbox menu, allow Dolby Vision, and it will automatically change from HDR to Dolby Vision. Now as far as I know, everything looks the same. There are no games mastered with Dolby Vision, but at least I know that I will be ready when they release. Now as a gamer, you want quick access to settings, so LG added this new game optimizer bar which you can access by simply pressing the settings button on the remote. Now right away you can see information like frame rate, black levels, latency and VRR. You can make quick changes by pressing on the center button. You have four presets available and each one offers different picture options depending on what type of game you're playing. Now if you want even more settings, you can open the game optimizer and get access to black and white stabilizers or reduced blue light, or if you prefer a lower input lag, 
or if you want to use VRR or FreeSync or G-Sync. Now, honestly, this looks like a gaming monitor, but on an OLED display. Now, imagine if they decide to add a display port and make it the 32 inch instead of 48. Wow, that, that would be fantastic. Now, to make things even better, the TV also supports Dolby Atmos. Now, the TV speakers sound very good, but if you want the best sound experience, I highly recommend to use a receiver or at least a soundbar. There are a few games that have Dolby Atmos support. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is one of my favorites. You can hear the environment like if it's around you. It's truly immersive. Another awesome game with Dolby Atmos audio is Ori and the Wheel of the Wisp. Now the game is a lot of fun and the graphics look amazing, but the audio, oh my god. This is the reason why this TV has the best features for gaming and for movies, of course. Okay, so how about upscaling older games? So the Xbox has backwards compatibility and lets you play games from previous generations. Now, one of my favorite boxing game is Fight Night Champions, which came out with the 360 back in 2011. Now, let me tell you, the game looks so good. Plus, it has HDR support with the Xbox, so overall the game looks and feels optimized, even though it came out 10 years ago. So the upscaling overall looks great on this TV. Now the same goes for the PlayStation 5. Now even though the PS5 doesn't have VRR or FreeSync or Dolby Vision or Atmos support, games still do look amazing. Now one of my favorite games is Ghost of Tsushima. I haven't even bought the director's cut version of the game because it already looks stunning. It's a very, very colorful game. It runs at 60 FPS, so it performs great and the graphics look very sharp. Now with game mode on this TV, you don't have to sacrifice any picture quality or performance. Even in dark environments, you can still see every little detail and the HDR stands out. Now OLEDs don't have the brightest panels, but they do have the best contrast in black levels, so specular highlights look so much better than LCD displays. Now another awesome game is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now the game is colorful and it also runs very very smooth. With a recent update, they just added ray tracing, so it looks even better. Now the PS5 also has a 4K 120Hz mode. You can enable this feature by going to the settings menu on the PS5 and selecting performance mode. There are only a few games that have this performance available and Warzone is one of my favorite. Now although you do have to sacrifice resolution and some quality, 120Hz mode is the best option for fast paced games. Now the TV does have a glossy finish, so you will see some reflections if there are direct lights in the environment or maybe a big window. Now while semi-gloss coating effectively reduces reflections, it also makes the image quality slightly more dull or hazy. So I personally prefer the glossy finish because it just has deeper black levels and a more vibrant picture. Now another big advantage of all the TVs are the viewing angles. Now you keep the same high quality picture at any angle. Colors look rich and they don't distort or degrade. Now I don't normally watch TV or play at any angle, but it is a good thing to know that you're getting the best picture from anywhere you stand. Now even though this video is more focused on gaming, this TV is also great for movies and streaming. Now the new webOS feels fresh, there is more interaction and direct access to apps quicker but I also noticed there is more marketing material. So regardless, I like the functionality and easy access. All your favorite apps are available here, including Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, HBO Max, and they offer HDR and Dolby Vision and Atmo support. Now with that being said, I know there are some people out there that are still concerned about permanent screen burn on OLEDs. Now all I can tell you is that they have improved a lot. There are features like pixel cleaning that adjust each pixel to prevent permanent damage when watching the same channel or content for a long time. There is also screen move which automatically moves the screen at regular intervals. There is also logo brightness adjustment of static image such as logos or subtitles. 
Not to mention the automatic screensaver that TV has when or that TV activates when not in use for a period of time. So don't let this stop you from enjoying one of the best TVs out there in the market. Chances of getting screen burn are very minimal. All right, guys, so I'm always excited when I buy an OLED. I wish I could afford a 77 inch. That will be amazing. But let me know if you own one and what is your experience so far? Thank you so much for stopping by guys. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.